The word adventure literally means to experience what comes, or more practically, to take what comes and to do something with it. And people with exciting lives are almost always adventurers in this sense. They have the attitude of adventure. Those of us who try to follow the Lord know a bit about it because life with God is often like that. As God did with Abraham, he often calls us to a land he will show us. That is, we only know where we're going once we get there. We don't have a detailed map of our lives and knowing what God wants us to do doesn't necessarily mean we know how to go about doing it. And what this means is that one of the keys to living a life worth living with God is to have the capacity to jump into something without really knowing what it will involve or exactly how to do it. To adventure. Think about the story of David and Goliath. David shows up on the scene. He sees the giant Goliath defying the armies of Israel. The only thing he knows is that he cannot allow the situation to continue. He decides he's going to fight, but he doesn't know how he's going to go about doing it. First, he tries on King Saul's armor. And the armor is too big, it's awkward, that plan doesn't work. He rejects it. He finally picks up his sling and a handful of stones. That works. The most famous duel in all history. How do you go about slaying giants? Well, you figure it out as you do it. One of the secrets to living a life worth living with God is, is to have a bias toward action. Always action, always moving, always churning your legs. With God, we get plenty of invitations to act, but we don't often get explicit instructions or predictable outcomes. So it requires humility, stubborn faith, energetic hope. It requires us to see and seize opportunities. And the trick to seeing God's opportunities is to not obsess about the opportunities we thought we needed and to instead just take what comes and to do something with it. What would it take to live life as an adventure? Let's think about that.